Hello, this is Kelly. Today I'm doing a tutorial on paper flaps or planner flaps. It's a fun way to add an interactive element to your planner or scrapbook. This is my Heidi Swap Memory Planner. It came in a gold binder originally and I just had it coiled. I started doing the flaps in February. My favorite thing about them is that they're random and anything goes. You can do journaling, photos, any monthly memorabilia, and it has a little place to go throughout the month, and it's been really fun. Um, you can add a little fortune from a fortune cookie or something funny that your kid said, um, just any journaling, stamping, embellishments. You'll notice some of them don't have a flap. Um, that's just to add to the random variety. So I went ahead and did it again in March. I find myself using my favorite papers at the time, which will be fun to look back at. Um, I've been adding pictures to the insides of some and the outsides of some. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll do is get your white cardstock and measure your planner or your whatever book you're gonna put it in. Um, mine worked out to be close to a six by eight. And my squares, I wanted to be two inches because that works perfectly. Um, and so in order to make two inch squares, I needed four inch rectangles. So these are two by four. And then when you fold them in half, they become your little two inch paper flap. So I'm just gonna fold my two by fours into the little two inch squares. Okay, so I've got the flaps glued on. My favorite glue that I use for everything pretty much is the Scotch glue stick. Um, if you just do a light coat, it can be a temporary glue that you could peel off if you needed to reposition. Um, but if you do a good, nice coat, it's permanent. Um, I decided to leave two of them this time to not be the flaps, and all the rest of them are. Make sure that you leave room right here to attach it to your planner or your scrapbook. Um, it would suck at the end if you had to hole punch right through your flaps or figure out a different way to attach it to your book because you went all the way to the edge. So try to leave a little bit of an extra edge there for that. And that's why I went just a little bit bigger than a six by eight, just a little bit. So that gives me that little extra edge. And all the rest of the edges I can go right up to. So it is time to start adding some more embellishments. I thought I would share really quick how to get pictures in this size. So I use a Canon selfie printer. It prints four by sixes. Um, so I just use a program on my computer called Picasa and I get six of these little squares on a page and print them as a collage and then just cut them out. So it's really not too hard to get pictures this size. Okay, I've got the flaps embellished and ready to go. Um, normally it's already put into the binder before this point so that I have it with me um, wherever I go and I can add to it. Um, but this time I did it a little bit differently because I knew I was gonna do the tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to put it in the book. Um, if you have a binder, you'll obviously just hole punch it and put it in. If you have a coiled one like mine, then um, I'm gonna show you what you can do. Here's a piece of plastic and I just used a marker and marked the little holes that lined up with the spiral. And then with scissors, I'm just gonna slit to each of the holes. Then with double-sided sticky tape, I will secure it to the edge of my planner and it will pop right into the spiral. So that's a great way that you can add things to your planner or your book if you have a spiral one. 
All right, thanks for sticking with me this long. We are to the end of the video and I just thought I would show you what's under each of the flaps. Um, let's do it a little bit closer. I wanted it to be really colorful for April, just some spring colors. And I always like some black and white pictures with it. So there's lots of those. So the first one <clears throat> just has a sticker with a little washi tape flag, a fortune from a cookie. Those are my favorite. Um, a picture from Easter, a little quote cut out of a project life card. Um, a selfie of us with a little sticker from Heidi Swap. Uh, just a photo with some journaling about the dinosaur park. Some hellos off my typewriter. These April letters are from the Heidi Swap letters. Um, some washi tape. Just another picture. I added the ages of the boys. I thought that would be kind of a fun thing to note. Um, some more pictures of Easter and some journaling, some little arrows, a picture from an Easter egg hunt, uh, added a little hashtag. That's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, this one's got a little tab that says hello and just a sticker and talking about how much snow we got with the date. Um, just some little flag pennants with a stamp. This cute stamp is by Heidi Swap. Um, this one's got a photo and some journaling about my little monkey who's always dangling from somewhere. Um, this is a little picture with a quote. If you think my hands are full, you should see my heart. And one more picture with some journaling. So hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching my very first tutorial.